and uh, this is Sugar Plum, who we renamed Princess Leia from Star Wars, although we call her Leia for short. Uh, she's doing fantastically at the moment. We've only had her about two or three months, I think, at the time. And uh, she's settled in very well, apart from the cats that she goes mental about and tries to eat. Uh, she's having a great time. She loves to lounge around, steal sandwiches from our, our bags and treats. And uh, yeah, she's doing great, isn't she? Is your girl. <laughs> she's definitely changed a lot since we first got her. I mean, the first time, the poor thing, uh, we got her on the first day, she got a bit of a shock. She was fine when she jumped out of the car and she was running around the garden having a great time. She already made her territory and everything. But then when she came in, it was the, the wooden floorboards, uh, oh, sorry, that uh, freaked her out. And I think they had a similar problem in dog's dress because with the tiles or something, because they're so slippery. I know, you want a treat, don't you? Yes, you do. Um, because they're so slippery, she just, she froze in the hallway. So the first day was quite stressful and she was getting getting into it. But now, I mean, like, she runs around, don't she? <laughs> um, and she's, she's so confident now. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like, we've gotten so much compliments from family members and friends. I actually had a small party here. And we barely got to talk to each other because everyone was just sitting on the couch with her, cuddling with her, giving her love. Like, she's just, like, such a favourite dog. I think she's getting spoiled rotten uh, now a little bit. But, um, and she's doing so well with, like, even the vet. She's the only dog in the world that uh, I think enjoys going to the vet because she just gets so much love there and attention. Uh, and they love her down there. They don't care about the terriers or anything. They're like, yeah, Leia. Even my 92-year-old my grandfather came over and barely walk and he, his face just lit up because she was so kind of gentle and friendly with him and everything. But, uh, oh, she might be smelling a cat now. No, fingers crossed not. She'll race off. She goes mental, absolutely mental. She starts barking and going, like that's the only time we ever hear her bark. She's totally calm and cool and quiet and collected and everything. But if a cat goes by, she goes crazy. Um, but yeah, no, she's so friendly. She's the friendliest dog, really. Her favorite thing to do would be either cuddling up on the couch here, like I've fallen asleep having a nap here when she's cuddled up and she, like the pair of us have fallen asleep on this couch having a, a nap and she loves it, like she lounges on this couch for ages or one of those little toys that you put the little treats in and things, she goes mental with that um, and the other one that you, yeah, you put the treats in them and she has to knock them out, she goes absolutely crazy and because she slips on the floor sometimes she goes completely mental, she's flying around the kitchen as the treats are flying around, <laughs> the tails up in the air wagging and everything uh, my mom came home uh, and dropped off her bag before she had to dash out of the house again and she'd forgotten that she had a like a cheese sandwich, like a massive cheese sandwich, ham and cheese or something like that left in the bag and the bag was, it wasn't even on the floor, it was like on the chair or the table or something so high enough and Leia, I was out of the room, came back to the room, found that the bag was on the floor and the cheese sandwich was out and gone, demolished. She'd managed to get the cling, fo fo cling film off and the cheese sam sandwich out and just completely destroyed it. Um, and ever since then, she even destroyed, uh, a friend of mine had uh, a small box of truffles in their bag and she managed to get to that and we had to race in and try and take it off her because she's just so sneaky. She knows exactly, she can smell it out all the time. If you have food, she'll be like your best friend. She <laughs> nuts for it, absolutely. I suppose, I mean like, if they can smell it, it must be so tormenting if we're just not giving it to them. But uh, yeah, she's she's very cute. We have to try and ignore her when we're having dinner because she just sits there. She puts on the puppy dog eyes. She looks it up, up at us and she puts the head on the lap as well. Like she'll just come up and she'll put her head in your lap. And she'll just look up at you like, please give me some food. And we have to try our best to ignore her. It's so difficult though because she looks so cute. 